On this boiling point, we're gonna look at combustion on a boiler. Um, here we've got a combustion analyzer. We've got the stack, probing the stack. We're taking readings of our stack values. Uh, the reason we use an analyzer is to properly tune the boiler. When a boiler started up, we may get everything lined out, it running great, um, but things are gonna change over time. We're gonna have seasonal changes, building changes, weather changes, temperature changes, wear and tear on linkages, etc. So having our boiler tuned is something that we should do with a certain frequency. Um, regardless of how small your boiler is, annual tuning is critical just to make sure that we're not emitting a lot of carbon monoxide or we're not sooting up the boiler. So once a year is what I would consider the bare minimum for combustion tuning. Beyond that, um, we recommend quarterly because that way you can catch each season and do some tuning, uh, keeping everything as efficient as possible. But um, depending on the size of the boiler and the amount of the fuel you're burning in the boiler, that's what's really gonna make a difference and dictate how much tuning we're doing. Because if we can save a percent of fuel um, and our fuel bill's a million dollars, you know, obviously we've got a budget to do some tuning there. So next I'd like to talk a little bit about the best scenario or optimal conditions for tuning. First thing is we have to have a load on the boiler. To tune a boiler, we have to run it up and down through the firing range, and we have to be able to leave it at any given firing rate long enough to get good readings. On a simple burner, we might need a minute or two to get a good reading. On a low NOx burner, we may need three, four, five, even six minutes to get a full development of our stack values. It's also important when we're tuning a boiler that it be warmed up and at full operating temperature because the stack temperature is going to affect draft and it's gonna affect our combustion numbers. So a lot of times our combustion readings are gonna change from the time that the boiler's cold till the time that the boiler's hot. And if we're tuning when the boiler's still not warmed up, we're, we're making changes that might not be necessary or might even be in the wrong direction. Um, a great way to ensure that we've got a good load while tuning is to have a vent on the steam system. Because if we don't have enough process or heating load to run that boiler at high fire, we're not gonna be able to make accurate adjustments. So being able to use or dump steam is pretty important. Another thing that's important is where we take our stack sample. On this boiler, uh, we've got a barometric damper. The point of a barometric damper is to reduce the draft. It does that by allowing air in because that air dilutes the amount of draft generated by the stack on the boiler. By introducing air, it cools it and also satisfies some of that draft demand. So our sample point has to be below the barometric damper. Because if we take a reading above, we're gonna get a mixture of the boiler flue gases and the air going in. So we're not gonna get valid numbers if we take a reading there. We're gonna wanna take readings at high fire, low fire, and usually in the middle at a minimum. So three points. And a lot of times, uh, your service person will print out a combustion sheet that shows low, mid, and high fire readings. Um, another thing that we have to take into consideration is that every burner is different. So if you have a service person tuning your boiler with greater frequency, they can become familiar with what your burner is capable of doing combustion-wise. And we, what we can see if we look at the statistics or the, the, the burner manuals for various burners, uh, is that each manufacturer's got values that are target values for that burner. So it's important to be as efficient as we can be, but we want to be within the range generally of what that manufacturer recommends. Otherwise, we could have unintended consequences for the burner. Um, so I guess in summary, um, tuning is important for economical reasons, for environmental reasons, 
and for reliability reasons. So the, the more frequently we can justify that, the better. Appreciate Jude filling in for me and talking about tuning that burner. Make sure that you get that done. You will save money and possibly don't need to rent one of these things behind me if that uh, boiler goes down. Well, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you don't mind, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, check out all of our content out there, the weekly boiler tips, the steam culture, lots of great information. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.